my channel so today I'm doing a makeup tutorial on this look based around the brand new gingerbread spice eyeshadow palette from Too Faced which is their eyeshadow palette that they have released released for the holidays if you guys remember last year's one was the chocolate gold palette which was excellent this is also equally excellent and I'm also using the brand new gingerbread girl melted matte liquid lipstick also from Too Faced which was released for the holidays this whole makeup tutorial is based around this look FYI my jumper is from Zara hence the Zeds so that we could all be gingerbread-ish my earrings are also from Zara here's the eyeshadow palette I've used quite a few new products in this video I've also used two of the Tutti Frutti uh, blush and bronzers in this video from the Tutti Frutti collection as well as the Tutti Frutti do you full coverage fresh glow foundation now i use the shade warm sand which is what i don't normally tend to use i normally tend to use the shade sand but i'm still slightly tan from the holidays and as this is the next shade i was like okay let me try out the shade it's a little bit dark for me so what you guys may notice in this video is that i use a very little bit and then i share it out because it's full coverage it still gives me the coverage but without it like being too dark on my face that's why i put a lot of powder on and a lot more concealer than I normally do which is obviously lighter to counteract the dark shade and that is how you can work with shades that are a little bit darker than your natural skin tone if you buy a foundation that is lighter then sorry you're stuffed you're gonna have to use bronzer and it still won't quite work so anyway so I hope you guys enjoy this video I'm really loving all the holiday stuff that is out right now so I'm really excited and that's why I keep creating tutorials for you guys hope you don't mind um, other than that make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already uh, like comment and I'll see you all soon bye hello everybody so first off I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow primer which is the P Louise base in the shade rumor this keeps your eyeshadow in place all day looking fabulous lovely fresh and it does not crease at all followed by the Primark primer water which is a two pound uh, primer that I love to use covering my face in it slathering my face and next I'm using the foundation which is the brand new Do You Full Coverage Foundation by Too Faced from their Tutti Frutti collection and I'm using the shade Warm Sand as I said you can see I've applied a really tiny amount so as you can see it is a little bit on the dark side for me but until sand suits me again I'm just going to carry on using this by the way this foundation is so good I absolutely love it. it has great coverage gives a nice dewy finish but not too dewy then I'm using the Too Faced Supreme Coverage uh, concealer in the shade warm beige and as I said at the beginning I'm gonna apply a lot more than normal and dragging it down my face slightly as well so that I can mix it in with a deeper foundation so first off after applying it into all the high points of my face I am using a damp beauty blender to blend it all in and as you can see I am bringing it down slightly so that it blends a lot into my cheeks and it goes really nicely with the foundation as well and just making sure that I blend it and kind of spread it out a little bit more than I normally would so everywhere from my nose to my cheek to my forehead and just basically everywhere and then just using the brush with no extra product on it just to blend out all the harsh lines to make sure it looks uniform so that it doesn't look too like bright in places and deeper in places so just blending it all out then I'm using the Too Faced No Filter setting powder in the shade Banana and I'm applying this to all the areas where I applied my concealer with the Real Techniques contour brush, the usual five second rule before I brush it all off. This makes sure that nothing creases throughout the day and the concealer stays in place. Then I'm using the Too Faced Peach Perfect um, mattifying powder and as you can see I'm going in a lot more heavily than I normally would using the large powder f30 brush by sigma this again is just to lighten the foundation a little bit more than normal because of the obviously foundation shade is darker now i'm using the gingerbread spice palette first shade i'm using is powdered sugar and i am using a sigma tapered blender brush and applying it all over the lid to neutralize my eyes as well as kind of set the concealer and everything else the next shade I'm using is called Frost Bite Me and I'm applying this all over my brow bone for a nice shimmery kind of ivory icy white 
kind of highlight that looks beautiful followed by the shade looky at my cookie what an awesome name and I'm using a Morphe M330 blending brush to go backwards and forwards um, in the crease and dragging it up into the highlighter shade just a little bit building up the intensity that this is our transitional shade then I'm using the shade called spice is nice and I'm using the exact same brush to go into the crease quite heavily as you can see like literally directly into the crease and then I am just swooshing it backwards and forwards in circular wind windshield wiper motions then I'm using the looky at my cookie yet again and then just going above so that there are no harsh lines and the pink blends beautifully into the orange the next shade I'm using is gingerbread and I'm using again the same Morphe M330 brush I used about three of these by the way in case you're wondering because I didn't want to muddy up the look too much with the various different like the same brush I mean anyway so I'm building up that shade as you can see going heavily backwards and forwards into the two other shades because this makeup look is all about layering shades then using just a normal clean brush just to blend out the harsh lines above next shade we're using is called gumdrop and i'm just using a long tapered blending brush to go into the outer v this is quite a difficult shade to blend as you can see so i'm showing you like in real time without forwarding it like loads like i do sometimes just for ease you can just see how difficult it is to blend you just got to persevere a little bit goes a long way and then just blend it out to the intensity that you want followed by the shade figgy pudding and the same brush and going again into the area where gumdrop was just so that we can intensify that color give it a kind of a grit like a what's the sort of color it's like a mulberry sort of shade so that it looks beautiful and very gingerbread spicy so as you can see again this is another difficult shade as it is like a plummy sort of color and then I am just blending out the edges to help with that blending of that color with a Morphe brush followed by my favorite shade hot toddy oh my god I love this color so much and I'm using the Royal and Langnickel eye fluff brush to liberally apply this all over the lid it's such a gorgeous duo chrome shade it's my favorite shade in like the entire palette look at it this video just does not do it justice and then I'm just blending out the edges just so that there are no harsh lines in the corners then I'm using the shade figgy pudding again and I'm going into the lower lash line using a makeup addiction cosmetics brush called the liner and I am applying it as I as if I'm applying liner so quite heavily so there is a very thick line there it's not blended out and then I'm going to be using the shade called gingerbread latte to bend out that shade using a Morphe M507 brush this is just so that there is a beautiful gradient of shades in the lower lash line so blend 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 then the next shade I'm using is called spiked eggnog which is a gorgeous gold and I'm using a MAC pencil brush to apply it to the tear duct so that it is a little bit of a contrast to all the other shades all over the eyes then I'm using my NYC liquid liner as I always do, I'm just fast forwarding this because you guys have seen it a million times. Normally I tend to go over my eyeliner twice because sometimes if your eyeshadow is quite pigmented it can peek through. Then I'm using the mascara called the Mega Multiplier by Revlon. I just like literally opened it that day. You know when you open a brand new fresh mascara, it's not clumpy, it's gorgeous, it makes your lashes look long and separated. That's exactly what this mascara was doing so I was showing it a little bit more love than I normally do in my videos. Then the eyelashes I'm using are the Coco lashes in the style Queen Bee they're really long and wispy so if you want something that's still quite fluttery I would definitely recommend looking into these because they're beautiful for everyday wear as well and I'm just applying this using my usual tweezers and just poking them around then I'm using the Rimmel Scandalize Coal Gargle in black as I always do to line my lower lash line it's a really creamy liner followed by the push up angel mascara by maybelline that you guys know i love to use because it's got a very long wand a long thin wand and it's amazing to use for your lower lashes you don't get any of that mess now for the face i'm using chocolate soleil bronzer also by Too faced i'm using a morphe m405 contouring brush to chisel out my face to make it look less flat a little bit more human so going into all of those areas which you would like to slightly manipulate including the nose and like any double chin things going on down there that sort of thing then I'm using the Colourpop powder again to cut my contours of my face to make it look a lot sharper using this 
Morphe contouring brush and then I am just using my same Real Techniques contour brush to blend it all off so that now it looks nice and neat and tidy and again just blending out any harsh lines with no extra product now for blush I'm going to be using another one of the Tutti Frutti things this one is in the shade Cherry Bomb it's one of their blush duos so pretty and first I'm using the bronzy short sort of shade followed by the more reddish sort of one using a Royal and Langnickel blush brush then I am using this pineapple sun strobing bronzier bronzing highlighter thingy and I am using just the highlighter shade on my cheekbones and everywhere else using a Morphe M501 pointed blender brush such a gorgeous golden pretty shade so again just the cupid's bow to make your lips look a little bit fuller followed by the melted matte liquid lipstick in the shade gingerbread girl such a pretty lipstick to finish off the look hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment subscribe and i'll see you all soon bye